Welcome back, Fixie boys and girls. You already know what it is. It's the top 10 trick track riders of 2020. Reminder, this isn't just a list of who are the best riders in 2020, like skill-wise. This is an all-encompassing list. It takes into account dedication, creativity, skill does play a part, obviously. Who did the most in 2020? Let's get right into it. You know, we gotta start with some honorable mentions. This is not an easy list to make, I assure you that, because there's a lot of people killing it right now, so it's tough to narrow it down. But these four people deserve a shout out. Um, we're gonna start with Caesar. Um, he's an up and coming LA local, the strapless prodigy, I call him. He's still in high school. He's dedicated, he's riding, he has an FGFS bike and a trick track bike, he has a cool cutter set up. Really good combos and um, 180s and spins and he does it all without straps, which is super impressive because it's hard to control a fixed gear bike without straps. I'm excited to see what Caesar does for the rest of 2021. Uh, he has a ton of potential and I'm excited to see how he expands on it. So shout out to Caesar. Number two in my honorable mentions is Jack. Um, he's a NorCal dude, rides with uh, Jake Lenich all the time. He kind of seemed to come out of nowhere. Before I knew it, he was like killing it with a bunch of slider combos and um, some good spins and just uh, overall really solid style and good riding. He kind of sprung up at the beginning of 2020, or at least he showed up on my radar around then. And just seeing him improve from like the beginning of the year to the end of the year, and even until now, is like really impressive. Uh, he's He's gotten a lot better and you can tell his bike control has gotten a lot better over the last year and he's been practicing. So shout out to Jack, he's killing it. Third person I wanna give an honorable mention to is Oscar Fixed. He's doing some of the craziest things I've seen. He's got some insane fish and chip combos and like he just has fish and chips super on lock. He can like spin for days and he like throw bar spins like halfway and keep sliding. And he's kind of a loose cannon on a bike is like how I'd like to describe it when I watch him ride. Um, you don't really know what he's gonna do and it might be like a little wild and maybe even a little sloppy, but he like will still like pull it off and it looks sick. So shout out to Oscar Fixed. I'm excited to see how he keeps progressing over the years. Lastly on my honorable mentions is gonna be Rojo. He's one of my favorite dudes to watch on a bike actually, both FGFS and Trick Track. He's got really good bike control um, in general. He always thinks of really original combos on his Trick Track bike and he uses a lot of bar spins, which I really like to see because I throw a lot of bar spins. So um, I really appreciate Rojo's riding. Um, he can do hot bars on his trick track as well, which is cool. It shows that you have a lot of bike control. And he can also ride park. He rides park on his uh, his volume cutter, his, his trick track bike, which um, not a lot of trick track dudes these days do because um, it's kind of scary when you're on like a high seat in a skate park. So it's cool to see Rojo doing that. And honestly, he should have made the top 10 list, but he didn't post that much in 2020. So that's the only thing holding him back on this list, in my opinion. If it was a list based on pure skill, um, he probably would be top 10. So shout out to Rojo. All right, honorable mentions down. Let's get right into the top 10. Coming in at number 10 is the up and coming trick track killer, Eduardo Vellini out of Brazil. Uh, I've really enjoyed watching him ride in 2020. Um, he seemed to kind of come out of nowhere, uh, like early 2020, I feel like is the first time I even heard about him. And then all of a sudden he's doing all these crazy Keo Curry style combos, which is awesome to see. He's really been embracing that 2007, 2008 era of trick track riding and he's doing it really well. Um, he does proper uh, toe Keos uh, with some nice foot drags. It's really smooth and I've been enjoying the bar spins that he throws into his tricks too. Uh, it shows some really good bike control on his part. He also runs what's called Tark Magazine on Instagram, which is a cool little media outlet for trick track riding. So that shows that he's really dedicated to the cause and you love to see it out of new riders. So shout out to Eduardo, number 10. Number nine goes to Colombia's finest, Stellar Dust. I don't actually know his name. Uh, he doesn't have his name in his Instagram bio, but uh, he has some of the best riding I've honestly ever seen on a trick track bike. It's crazy smooth. He can spin for days. He'll just do three tap, three tap, three tap, three tap over and over. And it's like, it looks like it's a video game for him. And he's just got like a cheat balance on. It's crazy. He's got a really good bag of tricks, super clean riding. It's honestly like some of the cleanest riding I've seen in a long, long time. Sometimes it's hard to whip around a big bike like that. And he makes it look super easy. He'll keep extending combos. Also really good sliders, which is cool. Um, super smooth. He'll do like a 180, ride into a long slider. Every time he posts a clip, I look forward to it. If this was a list based on pure skill, uh, I would rank him higher, but 
He didn't post too much in 2020, so I'm excited to see him continue to post and hopefully he posts a little more in 2021. Number eight is gonna be my boy, Guillermo Galindo, AKA Memo, young fixie prodigy, uh, young fixie superstar. He's making waves in the community. Uh, I've been really enjoying seeing his come up in the last two years that I've seen him ride. For this video, I was actually looking at his clips at the beginning of 2020 and holy shit. He, uh, he's improved more than anyone in the last year, I think. If he was still riding at the level he was at at the beginning of 2020, I probably wouldn't even put him on this list, but uh, his improvement has been drastic, which is sick to see, because he's been putting in a lot of work, so he deserves that come up and deserves to see that work uh, be paid off. I really appreciate what Memo's doing, because he's kind of like curating a trick track scene in LA. Him and all his homies are constantly filming and riding. They put out a really sick, video. It's the beginning of 2021. I'll count it for 2020 for this video. Uh, Tales of the West Coast. Man, they, they filmed it for a couple years and it's really sick to see him put together a full length video of that quality at such a young age. It's really cool to see how he's putting his friends on and see them all put in work and progress together. Uh, as far as his riding goes, he has keos for days. He can just keep it going, going, going which is awesome. He he's His combos are getting really complicated in a good way. He, he's a really versatile rider. I mean, he can throw bar spins when he feels like it, do some fish and chips. He even just learned um, dropout sliders and they look really good. He has 180s off stuff too. He's not afraid to send it off of some platforms. I'm also really excited to see how he improves the rest of this year. Um, if he continues at the rate that he's going at, then he'll be at the top in no time. Number seven is Fixie Montana himself, Jake Lenich, AKA Brother Lenich. Uh, I always knew Jake was good. I was, uh, I was looking at his clips throughout the year for this video. Sometimes I just forget how good he is. He's really fucking good. He does some really crazy combos and they're really unique and creative. He also just always looks like he's having like the most fun on a bike ever. Uh, I, I wish I could have half as much fun as Jake looks like he's having on a bike. He's just always out riding and embracing bike community as a whole and promoting the fixed gear scene. He's got one of the biggest followings in the trick track community on Instagram for a reason. Uh, he's sick. Always out filming with Slum. They filmed a cool edit together, which had some really good stuff in it. He also put out an edit with Foad in 2020, which was really good. He's pioneering the super slider combos. Now you see everybody and their mom doing super sliders on their track bikes, and it's all because of him. So I, I bet a ton of people have gone into trick track just because of him. And for that alone, uh, I wanna put him on this list. My favorite is his signature, do a really long combo and then get too greedy and fall. Uh, that's that's the brother Lenich, and uh, you love to see it. Every time I see one of his clips do that, it makes me laugh. Just Fixie Montana, dude, Fixie Baller Jake. To put it quite simply, He's the shit. Number six on my list is gonna be Korea's own Yeonjin. Absolute friggin' shredder, dude. He's probably got some of the best bike control on a track bike I've seen in a long time. He posts himself doing a 360 like every other week on a different track bike. Uh, and it's always clean, just lands perfectly two wheels. Um, track bikes are big, that's not easy to do. He'll do really clean 540 cabs and just like has a lot of pop on his bike in general. Not just that though, he can spin. This dude can spin for days. Yeah, he's just on here simply for his bike control. He also posted a lot in 2020, which is cool. Not much else to say, pretty plain and simple. Yanjin kills it, uh, shout out to you. We're at number five, which means we've hit the halfway point, which also means time for an ad by me. Hi, do you like this hat? Good, well you should buy it right here. Thanks. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. The halfway point in my list, number five, is gonna go to the world renowned Robert Gaines, AKA Australia's 80 proof. Robert is one of those riders who puts out so many clips every day that I can't keep track of how good he's getting. I really appreciate that he doesn't constrain himself to just like a trick track flat ground style. Um, Robert really likes to use obstacles. He rides skate parks, he rides spots, he also rides flat ground. He's a super well-rounded rider in general. He's definitely not afraid. Getting into his actual riding, he's got really good uh, fish and chips. He can just spin for days. Um, he'll 180 off some big stuff. It's awesome. He rides park really well. Um, I actually really, really like it when he rides park on his trick track because that shit's not easy. Riding park in general on a fixed gear, even if it's a fixed gear freestyle bike, it's not easy. 
So uh, it's cool to see Robert do it on such a big bike. Nobody can take away the amount of work he puts in. Um, that dude posts so many clips. He also put out a really cool video with Slum when he was visiting the States. And you know, if you get a video with Slum, that means you made it. You fixie made it. You're fixie famous. I really appreciate the fact that he incorporates a lot of FGFS style into his trick track riding. Um, he'll jump off stuff, 180 off stuff. And that always scores a little higher in my book. It shows that you have like full mastery of your bike control. I was stoked to put Robert on here. He definitely deserves it. Number four is gonna go to one of my favorite people to watch on a fixed gear bike in general. And that is Jacob Bruce. <laughs> AKA Fixie Transformer. European Shredder, he's got the slow and steady approach. Um, he doesn't go too fast when he does anything, but he has so much bike control. There's never any questioning whether he landed something or not. It's always stomped, stomped. I like to say he's an all-terrain rider. He likes to ride dirt. He likes to ride skate parks. Um, he likes to do crazy flat ground combos. He even grinds rails with no pegs on his uh, on his track bike, which is really sick to see. It's like a 2009 throwback. He has a background in BMX, which helps out with his bike control. Um, you can definitely see it because he handles that bike like it's a BMX. If I had to say one word to describe his riding, it's dialed. He did a not a spin on his on a fixed gear which like I've only seen like one other person do anything even like remotely close to that. He's just really good at thinking outside the box with his riding, really good approach to spots. He's also super crazy at doing like track stand combos and that definitely scores him some points here. He's one of the most skilled people I've seen on a bike in a long time. So shout out to Jacob. We're in the top three, the danger zone. All right, coming in at number three is Korea's own Moon Tae Wan. To put it quite frankly, this dude is sick. He's probably got one of the coolest, craziest styles on a track bike right now. He's got super crazy spins. He goes really fast, uh, really steezy hops. Steezy is probably the perfect word to describe him. I also really love it when people ride fast and he rides fast, I, I mean it. He'll go like Mach 10 and just start doing a skid and then whip it around 180. His riding might like seem out of control even sometimes. It seems like he might almost lose it, but he like holds on to it and gets back into control. It makes for some super exciting riding. Exciting is a great word to describe watching him ride. As far as his activity goes for 2020, he posted a lot in the first half of the year, not quite as much in the second half, but he's also been putting out a few edits on YouTube, which um, always scores some points in my book because it takes a lot of work to make edits on YouTube. So he's been putting in work for sure. He's been killing it in 2021 so far, posting a lot of clips and always love it, always love it. Shout out to Moon. Now we're in top two and there's two names that are probably elephants in the room that I haven't talked about yet. Number two, you might have guessed it, Andy Sparks. San Francisco's finest, Fixie superstar, Fixie legend, been in the game for a long, long time. He's got a timeless style. Um, you already know him for his long dropout sliders his crazy spins. He has some of the best backwards wheelie control in the game. A true cultivation of fix your freestyle and trick track put together. Um, it was hard to even decide if I should put him on the fixed freestyle side or the trick track side. Um, I went with the trick track side. He has flat 360s and flat 540 cabs, really solid. Lands both wheels every time, full rotation. And he also rides really fast which adds even more points in my book. He's just really sick to watch. He always does the craziest combos, always one-upping himself, tries one other variation from the last time he did it. He also constantly posts edits. Uh, these little one minute pocket clips that he's been uh, doing for the last few years are really exciting to see. It features all the homies, so he's putting the homies on too, not just himself. You love to see it, and he is the man. He also put out a really good edit with Slum in 2020 which you should definitely go check out if you haven't. Quite simply, Andy's the man, number two. Speaking of slum, number one spot, Mayor Fixie Town, the most classically handsome man of Fixie, leader of the Fixie Wolf Pack, it's Slumworm, AKA Matt Reyes. Matt Reyes can literally ride his high seat post track bike like a BMX bike. I don't know how he clears his seat on so many of the tricks he does, He's like riding a fixed gear freestyle bike and not even paying attention to the fact that he's 
riding this giant frame with giant wheels with a giant seat post. It's inhuman, quite frankly, and I'm sick of it. Uh, yeah, number one pick is Matt Reyes should come as no surprise to anybody. Lives and breathes fixed gear. The man puts in more work than anybody, really. I mean, he puts out a few edits a month, always quality riding and filming and editing. The man is a jack of all trades, really, or a Matt of all trades. I'm sorry. Matt has amazing bike control. Um, he's really good on a fixed gear freestyle bike and he's really good on a track bike. Just I don't know where he gets some of the pop he has for some of his tricks, but he's got pop. Really good bunny hops, really good spins, really good combos, really good at using spots. He's just so good, it's a sickening. And also, not only does he put out edits, he stars in all kinds of stuff. Oakley commercials, Xfinity mobile commercials, T-Mobile commercials. He's just spreading Fixie far and wide, making it look good for the people, spreading the Fixie gospel. Probably came as no surprise that he was number one. Uh, Matt deserves it in all aspects. So shout out to Matt, Slumworm Reyes, you are the man. Thank you for leading our Fixie generation. It was really hard for me to order this list, honestly. Um, any rider could have had an argument to be higher placed than they were but this is what I decided on. If you think I left anybody out or if you feel like my order was unfair, uh, leave it in the comments below. I'll check it out and tell you why you're wrong. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And that wraps up the top 10 Trick Track Riders of 2020 list. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Um, we still have some hats available, so uh, if you want a cool hat with a sad flower on it, uh, they're available at shopmycog.com. If you weren't on this list, maybe you can make it on next year's if you start putting in that work now. Tag us on Instagram at suckmycog every time you post a clip. See you guys in the next one. Peace.